welcome to this week's episode of Kidlet at Six. If you're new here, welcome. We're so glad you could join us. And if you've been watching episodes for a while, well, welcome back. Each week in Kidlet at Six, we spend six minutes together celebrating book birthdays, connecting with authors, discovering lots of great books that you can add to your reading wish list. As a reminder, all the books mentioned are listed down below. So if you hear about a book that sounds interesting, you can look down there to get all the information. Hi, Kid Lit Six. I'm Rebecca E.F. Barone, and I wrote Unbreakable, The Spies Who Cracked the Nazi Secret Code. This book is all about breaking the Enigma code or cipher of World War II. The Germans, the Nazis, hid all of their communications, all their messages to one another inside this Enigma code. So all of their armaments and the troop movements and their strategies and all their messages back and forth were inside this Enigma code. If the Allies could crack the code, that would be a huge win. But it wasn't just one person working on this, it was a huge team. It was codebreakers actually sitting at their desks. It was spies who were covertly trying to get the information to crack the code and hand it off to the codebreakers. And then there were the soldiers in the U-boats and on the battlefield who were physically trying to obtain the evidence to hand to the spies to hand to the codebreakers to try and break the code. Um, so it has all of the best parts you would expect out of a spy book, you know, aliases and invisible ink and action and drama. But the best part is, it's true. So I think you will enjoy Unbreakable, The Spies Who Cracked the Nazi Secret Code. I'd also like to recommend How to Build a Human in Seven Evolutionary Steps by Pamela S. Turner. And this book isn't about war, it's about us. It's about how we came to be. And there's a huge amount of information, but the author does a wonderful job of making not only that information understandable and readable, but entertaining and really kind of fun to read and fun to find out about. So I think you'll like those two books. How to Build a Human in Seven Evolutionary Steps, and Unbreakable, The Spies Who Cracked the Nazi's Secret Code. Thanks so much. The day a book first comes out is called its publication date, but that's kind of a little bit boring. So in a sense, it can also be called its book birthday. We go with that. So let's get ready to celebrate a book birthday for this week. The birthday we're going to celebrate is Ode to Nobody. And it's about a devastating tornado that tears apart more than just houses. And it's a story of a girl trying to rebuild herself. Before the storm, Quinn was happy flying just under the radar. But now after the storm, she can't seem to go back to average. As Quinn tries to figure things out in the aftermath of the storm, she has to choose between homes, friendships, and different versions of herself. The best way to celebrate a book birthday is by reading the book. So head to your local library or your nearest bookstore and pick up your copy of these books today. Hi, Kidlet Six. My name is Jessica Vitalis, and I am the author of The Rabbit's Gift, which is a companion novel to my debut, the Wolf's Curse, except The Wolf's Curse is actually a twist on Grim Reaper mythology, whereas The Rabbit's Gift is a spin on French mythology and stork mythology. Only instead of babies being grown in cabbage plants, they're actually grown in cabbage-like plants and they are delivered by rabbits. I have been asked today to make a book recommendation and the book that I have selected is Etta Invincible by author Risi Eshman. This book features a main character by the name of Etta, and Etta has loud days and quiet days as her hearing goes in and out. But Etta spends most of her time writing comic book characters featuring superheroes that are strong and brave like she wants to be. When she makes a new friend, his dog actually disappears into a train that comes to their subway stop. And Etta jumps on the train to save him, but she finds out that it's a magical train and it's malfunctioning. So she has to harness her inner bravery in order to save her city from the fear that the train is spreading. It is a fantastic, magical book, and I'm sure you're going to love it. And I know that you're going to love the comics that are inside, so be sure to check it out. Thanks so much for inviting me to share my book recommendation with you.
I was too impatient to wait for the tea to cool off, and so when I took a drink, I scalded my tongue. Do you think you can create your own sentence using the word scald? Try to create your own sentence and then share with us in the comments below or on social media at KidLit6. We hope you found lots of great book suggestions in today's episode, and we can't wait to see you again next week. In the meantime, have a great week and happy reading.